What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? That was a good clap. Rate that clap on a scale of one to 10 down in the comments. How was that clap? Anyway, we have an upper today. We're gonna complete it upper from Primary Arms. Primary Arms line, their brand is called Expo Arms. So when I say Primary Arms or Expo Arms, it is the same thing, it's interchangeable. Before we get into it, I wanna thank all of the new subs here. If you think I deserve it at any point during this review, please like, comment, subscribe, enable, all that good stuff, free, won't hurt you. Definitely helps me out. All right, so Primary Arms has several different uppers right now with uh, the thoughts of adding completed firearms and more uppers as well. They have a 16 inch, an 11.5, and a 10.3. This one here is a 10.3. Some of those are available, uh, the barrel that is with a nitrite finish or a FOSS in chrome finish. You can pick either one. Typically, nitrite is more affordable and more accurate. FOSS in chrome is gonna have a longer life before you shoot that barrel out. The 16 inch is of course a mid-length, not of course, but it is a mid-length, the 10, uh, three in the 11.5 is a carbine length. They are SOCOM profile barrel, which is good all around. One in seven twist, which is a good twist for the biggest variety of ammo. It's good from, you know, 50 to 70 grains and, and everything in between. The material is 4150 CMV, which is a very good, relatively inexpensive, but very durable. Uh, steel, I just saw a chipmunk run by. Again, that's like the third video in a row. Sorry, muzzle device is half by 28. Again, very standard, so you can put on whatever muzzle device you want. Speaking of the barrel, we did do an accuracy test here. We did it with some basic range ammo, and I even broke out some 77 grain match grade ammo, which is stupid expensive. Uh, even this small barrel, a 10.3 inch barrel, I did get just over one MOA at 100 yards. So that is, and, and this is the FOSS in chrome version as well, and that is more than acceptable. I was pleasantly surprised. I was expecting closer to two MOA. Uh, but that is pretty good. The upper now, the upper is good. It's a forged upper. It has all of the things and features you would expect. Like it has a dust cover, has a shell deflector, has a forward assist. I don't know about you guys, but I like the forward assist. I don't really use it, but I like it to be there. Uh, it is also T-marked, so if you take optics on and off, you know where they belong. Sliding on up to the handguard, a lot going on with the handguard. The biggest thing I wanna point out is the lockup is solid, solid, solid. It has two little anti-rotation tabs on here and it does not budge, move, it is great. So if you are shooting uh, with any laser aiming device, uh, D-ball, a peck, a mall if you're cool, um, this is very, very solid and you're not gonna lose zero. I would not be worried about that. Uh, the 16 inch uh, barrel comes with a 15 inch handguard. The 11 and a half inch barrel comes with a 10 and a half inch handguard and this 10.3 has a nine and a half inch handguard and I think that's very important for aesthetics. I like the handguards that go all the way out towards the muzzle like that. They just look really really sharp and it gives you a little more room to put on accessories especially on something like this that's a shorter barrel. The other thing I want to point out is the M-Lock slots. It has seven rows of M-Lock all the way around, which is dope. I like when you have M-Lock in the half positions. It just gives you a lot more options when mounting accessories. Um, People, I see companies cut out these top slots with dec decorative cuts instead of M-Lock and it doesn't make sense. If you're going to machine that part of the handguard, you might as well cut out the M-Lock slots, but whatever. Um, each row, there's seven rows and each row has four and a half M-Lock slots. So again, it gives you a lot of options and a lot of possibilities to mount your lights, lasers, doohickeys, all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, as far as the muzzle device, you have two options. Ooh, I got all dinged up. Uh, this is the nicer one. This is a forward controls and Expo Arms collaboration. If you look close, you'll see the little duck on there. I don't know if you can't see it. I'll roll in the picture. Forward controls makes a lot of really nice Gucci gear. Um, this is a single chamber, very large muzzle brake. It is very, very effective. It tames the felt recoil on a short barrel, but it is a little on the loud end. Uh, it does, is also a suppressor adapter, a chemo suppressor adapter. Um, which is dope. If you don't like this, you can also get them with an A2 flash hider, and I'm sure you know it takes two seconds to take it off if you don't like either one of them. Uh, the gas block is also very standard, no issues there. It is a low profile, two screws on the bottom, they're Loctited, no issues, no problems, standard gas tube there. Um, yeah, no issues. Um, let Let's talk about, actually, before we talk about the testing, there's a couple upgrades you can get when you buy these. If you want to get a charging handle, a BCG, or a hand stop, that is something that you can get to add all in together, just so you know. Testing. 
I put at least 500 rounds of 22 LR through this gun. Now I put more than just that. Don't go crazy in the comments. That's just the first one I want to talk about. I have this conversion kit from CMMG. I reviewed it a while ago. If you don't know this conversion kit, you just put this kit in any 5.56 rifle and voila, it's 22 LR. So a couple days ago we had a uh, range event for a lot of people where I work. I work at Roscoe Manufacturing, best damn barrels, and we brought a bunch of new shooters and a bunch of employees, kids to the range, and we were all here shooting a lot of fun. And there was a lot of 22 shooting because of the kids and new shooters. So this thing got at least 500 rounds of 22 between that day and the other shooting that I have done as well. Besides that, I probably put three or 400 rounds of standard 5.56 range ammo through it as well. I've had this for a while. I just, I've been busy, haven't been able to do the review. So it took me a lot longer than normal, but which is a good thing for you guys because I put a little bit more rounds through it than I normally would. Through all the testing, no problems, no issues, no concerns, nothing's broken. Ah, a few scratches here and there, but I am not gentle on my equipment. I beat the crap out of it. So I'm gonna say the biggest pros, the value and what you get for your money. I think uh, Primary Arms made a very high quality upper. It's far from junk, but it's very, very uh, uh, high value. And I'll put the prices here on the screen because I forgot to check before the video, but the one thing I remember is they gave you a lot for your money and you get a lot of some of the best features like the lockup on the handguard is great. It has a solid uh, fossing chrome or nitrite barrel. The muzzle device is awesome. I love forward controls. Every All the features on the upper is exactly what I would want from the T-Mock to the forward assist to the shell deflector, blah, blah, blah. And then you pair it with a cool primary arms optic like this one. This is the SLX Prism, mini micro prism. Done a review on that as well. That thing is also awesome. Um, so high value, high quality, made in the States. And uh, yeah, I think everything Primary Arms stamps their name on is very, very good. I've never shot or used anything that was Primary Arms brand that wasn't high value and high quality. So yeah, that is my opinion. Cons, I have none. Uh, it is a dope little um, upper. Uh, maybe I'd like to see them. I think they're working on completed firearms so that would be good for them and i'm sure they're going to work on different lengths as well which will be good for them but uh yeah no issues no complaints if you have any questions of course feel free to drop them down in the comments let me thank primary arms before you go and let you know there will be some affiliate links yes primary arms did send me this upper for free but i still told you the pros cons and what i think of it overall as honestly as i possibly could if you want to pick up this or anything else from primary arms please hook a brother up Ooh, that's sun Hook a brother up, use that affiliate link down in the video description. Give me a small little kickback and definitely, definitely helps me out. All right, I am done talking. I got a lot more shooting to go do, so I need to go do that shooting. Thank you very much for watching. If, again, you think I deserve it, like, comment, easy, free, helps the algorithms. If you really think I'm awesome, uh, what do you call it? Subscribe to the channel and enable the bell notifications. Again, free, that stuff really, really helps me out. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.